To many, Detroit Dam and Reservoir mean recreation and fun. But for salmon, this structure is simply one big impediment. If the Willamette system had over 400,000 fish, at least that's the estimate historically, that would come up this river system, Spring Chinook I'm talking about. And um, over the many decades, those numbers have just been decimated. That's Travis Williams, executive director of Willamette Riverkeeper. For the last 12 years, Williams has fought to get the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to make changes at its dams in the Willamette Basin so that salmon and steelhead can pass through them more easily. You know, when you basically plug up the tributaries to the Willamette so the fish can't swim over the dams and, and can't get to their spawning grounds and then the juvenile fish can't get downstream to get to the ocean, you have a really fundamental basic problem. And the dams do a lot of harm to them. You know, we started hearing more and more rumblings about things that the Army Corps of Engineers were was supposed to be doing to help the fish and they weren't doing. It's a fight Lori Rule got involved with too. Rule's an attorney at Advocates for the West, a nonprofit environmental law firm. The firm sued the Army Corps three years ago and just last week a federal judge ordered the Corps to take immediate action to help the salmon. It is kind of a dire situation and they need some immediate help. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers declined our request for an interview, but issued a statement saying it already has plans to draw down Cougar Reservoir this fall, making it easier for fish to get through. And said, quote, we take our Endangered Species Act obligations seriously and are committed to taking actions that will benefit ESA listed salmon and steelhead while continuing to work on finding solutions that balance our authorized purposes. No doubt the Corps is feeling the pressure to make changes. This summer, the state of Oregon also filed an injunction against the Corps over dam management. Small steps many hope will lead to big changes to protect these struggling fish. Keeley Chalmers, KGW News.